Well, hey everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese, and I hope you're doing finer than frogs hair today. Yeah. I wanted to show you what I had been working on the last time I did a with and chat. Aren't these cute? These are some glasses that I got from dpclubs.com. They are adorable. I think my nephew will love them. I am going to seal them using my favorite sealer, the only sealer I use now, which is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. And I have it linked to my Amazon store in the description. Sometimes it's in stock and sometimes it's not. So you can check it out. And I'll link a video down below of me using the high gloss, the, the sealer. Liquitex is all I will use now. And I've used many, 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 many of them. So before you start telling me about a bunch of different ones to try, trust me, I've tried dozens of them. Now, the other day I did an unboxing of a custom of my Yorkshire Terrier. And I've been working on it. And I wanted to show you how it's looking so far. Now, it's looking better than I thought it was going to. Because all of these areas here had white on it like this. And I thought, oh my gosh, I can't tell anything about it. I have to keep moving this. My webcam goes nuts with the shine. So I'm going to have to bring you down a little bit while I work on her. I just wanted you to see what I've done so far. And I'm going to work on her a bit while I chat with you fine folks out there. I, <laughs> I found a bunch of crazy laws. I just get a kick out of these. And many of you told me that you enjoyed this when I did it another time. So, let's listen to some more. Uh, some of these just... Mm, they just kind of blew me away. <laughs> People, where are you getting these ideas? Really? Did you dream this up or what? Because it's crazy. I'm telling you, crazy. Anyway, if you look right over here, you see I have my sweet little bogey bear. Bobo. There he is. Hey, baby. He's in here taking his nap while I do this whipping chat. Because that's what he likes to do. <laughs> he is my, he's my little helper. Okay. So let me get Ginger in kind of in a focused area. And um, we'll do this. All right. Let me get my pen and my drills so I can get started. I'm going to turn my light pad on so I can, I'm, I can turn it. I love this light pad. I can, whoops, I'm turning the light up instead of going down. Crazy, I know. I'm sorry. Um, there we go. Now, oh, and some of you have been wondering about me wearing this glove on my hand. I was doing a, hours upon hours of crochet because I've been working on some projects. So I had people asking me and wondered, you know, they said, how's your hand? It's getting better. I mean, it's getting there. I crocheted a lot and I'm not sure. I have, I think I get that repetitive motion, whatever thing, whatever it's called. And, um, or else I have arthritis or bursitis or there's something going on. And I have had the test for carpal tunnel syndrome because a lot of people have asked that. I've had it done twice. It's not a very fun procedure. A neurologist does it and they stick pins in your hand, different areas, and they send an electric current through there to see what kind of stimulation you get in your hand. Both times that I've had it done, it showed I do not have carpal tunnel. Well, the surgeon said, I really think that you do. 
And he wanted to go ahead and do surgery anyway. Well, I'm like, mm, no. Um, since she hadn't seen anything, I really don't want to do that. You know, I don't want my hand cut open. Um, and that's not what's wrong with it because I really don't know. The main pain that I have is this joint in my thumb here, my the joint here, and my joint in here. It goes all the way down. Lots of pain. So if you've had that and you, you know what it is, what they've said to you about it, I've even used my TENS unit on here. And that gives electric shocks. And let me tell you, it hurts so good. That's all I can say. <laughs> it is feeling a bit better. It has not stopped me from diamond painting. It has only stopped me from crocheting. And some, it hurts to open jars. Certain moves that I do with my hand, yeah, it, it does hurt. But I am going, I ordered some joint relief. Uh, is that medicine? It's... Um, glucosamine in it, you know, kind of like what you give your dog when they have joint problems, <laughs> except it's for people, okay. I, I did get the stuff that's for people. I, um, you know, at this point, I would try it if I thought it would work. Okay, let me try to get you where you can see what I am doing. So, I'm used, putting down three tins right now on these, um, percent signs and there's up there in the eyeball too so I thought well let's see how this comes out well I've told you enough about my goings on my problem with my hand right now you don't want to hear all about that just the whole time I'm talking so let's talk about some of these laws I had a good laugh I found a place that I that I found a bunch of laws, and I, I put down the ones that I thought were the, kind of the craziest. Now, if you live in the state of Kentucky, this is important to you, or if you're planning to go to Kentucky, it is illegal for you to frighten pigeons. Be careful going to any parks. Don't frighten the pigeons there. So, in fact, you might not want to walk through the park at all because, you know, they get kind of scared. You know, we're bigger than they are, but don't you dare threaten one of the, uh, frighten one of them. Boy, <laughs> like, really? Wonder who came up with this law. Mm, strange. <clears throat> now, here's another one that is even crazier than that. And this one is for Fort Thomas, Kentucky. I do not know where Fort Thomas is in Kentucky, but it says that dogs are prohibited from molesting cars. Well, I sat my dogs down just a little while ago, and you saw Bogey. Bogey. He's, still, he's still in shock over the talk I had with him about molesting cars. How does a dog molest a car anyway? Hmm. Anybody have any ideas? Because, you know, peeing on them, I, I don't know that that's molesting them. It's just kind of, you know, give them a little wash down on the tire. I don't know, but I do not know how a dog molests a car, but do not let your dog do that in Fort Thomas, Kentucky. Have a talk with your pets before heading in that direction. <laughs> okay, the next one. Boy, <laughs> this one's really strange too. This one is for Kirkland, Illinois. Did you know that it is illegal for bees, you know, any kind of bee, to fly over that village or to go through the village onto any of its streets. Hmm, no honey for you guys. Yeah. I, I wonder if they have little bee signs that, you know, say, bees do not fly this way. 
Can't you just see them? They're flying along. I've said, oh, I gotta go this way. Kind of crazy. I don't know. Maybe who made someone who made that law was allergic to bees. Uh, but really, um, I don't know how you could stop them from going somewhere because bees are very important. You know, they pollinate things that are important to the farmer. They make that delicious honey. Ooh, I love honey. Um, my dad raised bees at one time, and I'll have to tell you more about that at another time. That's a whole story in itself. Now, this next one, this was for the state of Arkansas. I'm not sure that I could live in the state of Arkansas because of this law. And that law states that you may not keep alligators in your bathtub. Hmm. Yeah, no alligators in the tub. Well, who is that hurting anyway? One time when I was fishing with Jerry in this small pond, I did catch a baby alligator. It was about this long. Well, maybe that long. It was so cute. But do you know what? That, that little thing had his mouth wide open with a mouthful of sharp little teeth. I don't remember how Jerry ended up getting it off of the hook because I uh, I got out of there. He was little, but he had some mighty fine teeth. So I moved. I sure did. So let's see what else is illegal to do in certain states before you know you go there. Now in Hawaii, it is illegal to own any snakes at all. Now, I, know, I do know at one time Hawaii was overrun by snakes, and they brought a mon the mongoose in, and the mongoose do kill snakes. So, there are no snakes in Hawaii. So, you are, it's illegal to have one. They can have them in the zoo, but only if it happens to be two, just two male snakes. They have to both be males. And they have to be non-venomous. So, sorry little snakies. No hanky-panky for you two. So, well, I guess if you started out with an island full of snakes, it might kind of make you gun-shy. But, I don't know. I know there are, I have friends who own snakes. You know, keep them put away. So, I don't know. If you want to own snakes, do not live in Hawaii. That's all I can tell you. I don't know how well much they enforce that. These are crazy laws that I found that are still on the books. Okay, let's move to another place. Now, this is in Idaho, and this is an anti-delinquency statute. Okay, this is focused on delinquents or, or young people. Young people need to know this law in Idaho. Idaho. It is prohibited to deliberately step on ants. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I do anything I can um, to get rid of fire ants and things that happen to be in the yard. Those things can bite. Ooh, honey, let me tell you. They make big old blisters. Um, I know we do need, you know, to have certain creatures, but when they're overrunning the yard, sometimes you got to do something about it. But it is prohibited. Do not, do not step on those ants. Okay, it's a, don't deliberately step. So if you accidentally step on one, then that they're not going to do anything to you. They probably aren't going to do anything to you now anyway. But I don't know. I don't know. Because I know people who are allergic to ants. I know when I get an ant bite, I get this huge whelp. It's, ugh. It hurts. It is miserable. And here in Texas, let me tell you, we have the ants. So, I don't know where these come from. Now, this one is for Indiana. Indiana? Or Indianans? It is illegal for you to carry a dog in your purse if 
you are wearing shoes while walking across the grass. Don't do it. If you've got your shoes on, don't be carrying your dog in a purse. Now what earthly reason they did that, I don't know. But just take the shoes off. If you want to carry your dog around in your purse, just take them old, old nasty shoes off and ooh, get them toes wiggling. Just watch out for ant beds. Of course, it's not illegal to step on them there. Okay. Just, you know, be careful in Indiana. Like I said, these are just crazy laws. Uh, all of these deal with animals that I'm talking about today. I, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Now, in Washington State, I found this one quite interesting because... Um, well, let me, let me tell it to you, okay? In Washington State, it's illegal for you to harass Bigfoot or Sasquatch or any subspecies of them, okay? Just don't do it. You can either be fined or imprisoned or both. So you leave Bigfoot and Sasquatch alone. Got it? Okay. Good. Not that I know that they've even found Sasquatch or Bigfoot in those areas or anywhere else for that matter. But if you, you know, if you see them, leave them alone. Don't harass them. Don't. Don't be standing there calling them names or, you know, saying, because that's harassment, if you ask me. <laughs> this next one, this one really tickles me. Now, this is a crazy law that was made in Tennessee. And the definition for dumb animals are any living creature. Well, I wonder if they thought about them out their own selves. Because we are creatures and we are living. So I guess uh, if you're in Tennessee, you're considered a dumb animal. Wow. I don't know. I do not know. Somebody wasn't thinking too clearly, clearly when they came up with that law. Mm -mm -mm. So I guess if I went to Tennessee, they'd say, here comes another dumb animal. They might not be too wrong. Oh, well. You know, it is what it is. Now, this next law, it, it sounds crazy, but I can, I can understand why they made it. In Memphis, Tennessee, it is illegal for frogs to croak after 11 p.m. So, you better tell your frogs over there. If you have any frogs over there in Memphis... You make sure you shut them up at the, um, after 11 p.m. They're not, it, it's against the law. But I don't know what they do to them, but it's against the law. Don't be letting your frogs croak. You know, you can play your music loud and let your dogs bark and all that, but don't you dare let them frogs croak. Oh, no. Just don't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just, I'm just, I, all I can guess is that they're, People complained about certain things at some point in time, and they thought, well, let's just make a law against it. Okay, you made a law against it, but uh, what are you going to do? Put the frogs in, the, you know, in prison, in jail? I don't know. Well, here's another one. And, yeah, this is probably for the safety of monkeys in general, but in... South Bend, Indiana. South Bend, Indiana. Monkeys are banned from smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Do not let the monkeys smoke the cigarettes. I know I was in the store up there one time and I saw this monkey getting him some cigarettes and... Um, I said, you're not supposed to be buying cigarettes. It's against the law for you to do that here in this town. 
and that monkey just gave me a snooty look. And when I went, you know, I finished getting my chips and coke and things, and when I went outside, that monkey had the audacity to blow a huge smoke ring in my face. Can you believe that? Well, yeah, you know I'm joking. <laughs> no, I've never been to South Bend, Indiana. So I, I, I lied about that. It wasn't in Indiana. It was somewhere else. <laughs> wow. I wonder if people were actually letting monkeys smoke and they had to come up with that law. That's pretty sad. But, you know, you never know. Now, I've got one more that I'm going to tell you about. And it's this, this takes place, this law is for the town of Bartsville, Oklahoma. Now, in Bartsville, Oklahoma, you are not allowed to own more than two adult cats. Guess that means you better either have two males or two females, or have them fixed, which, you know, we need to do anyway. But no more than two adult cats. Well, I, um, most people I know, when they, they have cats, they have a whole lot more. I've got three dogs. Don't be telling me how many I can have. We get in trouble. So that is, um, I guess they're just trying to prevent people from going cat crazy. I don't know. What's, what's the deal up with that? I do not know. If any of you know any reasons why some of these laws were put into effect, let me know in the comments below and so other people can see that. I've got a lot more that I will tell you about in another video. I don't want to go over too many at one time and bore you, so I thought a dozen was a good number. Which one of those laws do you think is one of the craziest? There were so many crazy ones. But the dogs molesting the cars, since I happen to own dogs, and my dogs absolutely have never molested a car. So I don't know why they would need a rule about that. But I did go ahead and have a talk with them. <laughs> Sorry. But I, I read that, and I was just trying to picture dogs how do you even molest a car? You know, I can I can understand if it says to do um, damage to a car, but do not molest it. Okay, really? Yeah, well, that goes uh, to me. I don't know, just kind of phew, right over the head. I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe some of you do down below or... Some of you that are listening, you may understand that rule. I just don't. I just don't get it. There's a lot of crazy things out there. I remember when we went on a trip, when my daughter, Catherine, she was young. I um, can't remember exactly what age she was. But we, uh, we were with my sister and her family. She has uh, a son and a daughter, and they, they were all, they, what is funny is Jason is my nephew, and he's nine months older than Catherine, and Catherine is nine months older than Jenna, who is the youngest of that bunch. Yeah, it was like boom, 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 every nine months. There was one coming, it seemed like. But we had gone to Missouri. And we gone to watch um, Shepherd of the Hills. They have a play that is the coolest thing. It's outdoors, and they use um, live animals, and you sit there and you watch. But before that started, they uh, Mark Twain wrote. Um, he had a story about frog races in one of his books. So they did frog races, okay, and they were given these huge frogs that had the longest legs of any frogs I've ever seen. So each of the kids were able to pick out their own frog. They were given a frog, and they held that frog. 
Now, my daughter loved all animals. Still does. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, she gave her dog, frog a couple of, you know, good luck kisses. But they were all in a circle, and the frog that jumped out of the circle first was the winner. Well, all of them set their frogs down when they told them to and let them go. And it was funny. Those frogs were just going all over the place because there were several kids out there. Well, Catherine's, Jen or Jason's, none of their frogs won, but it was fun. It was funny. It was fun to watch. But Catherine, I think she would have taken that frog home. She loved that little frog. She thought he was just, you know, the best thing. She loves animals. What can I say? Yeah. And, she, and you know what? It did not turn into a prince. No, it just stayed a frog. She wasn't trying. Maybe it was because she wasn't trying. She was young at the time, and she probably wasn't saying, if I kiss you, will you turn into a prince? So it, it, just, be, it just stayed a frog. <laughs> Those were some big frogs. They better not go... Uh, Let's see. What was a which which place was it where the frogs can't croak after 11 p.m.? Oh, it's in Memphis, Tennessee. Ooh, Memphis, Tennessee. Can't even speak. Um, turn your frogs off at that point. <laughs> if you've ever heard frogs croaking at night, it is very very loud because we do have them around here, certain times of the year, and it is very loud. It normally doesn't bother me because they're farther away, so I don't hear it too much. But you hear crickets chirping, frogs croaking, all kinds of uh, sounds at night. I find it a little kind of pleasant, but normally, um, like right now, it's so hot, you got the air conditioner going, so you're not going to hear it too much. So maybe that law was made before they had air conditioning. Who knows? I have no idea. But I loved, we, I guess we've been to Missouri and to, in the Branson area like three different times when Catherine was little. We loved it there. Branson is a cool town. Um, they have all kinds of shows that you can see. Of course, with Right now, the pandemic, I wouldn't recommend going into closed spaces. Not even sure things are open there at this time. But it was fun. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I do recommend going there. We, we used to go to San Antonio, which is here in Texas, a lot. The only thing I can tell you about that is do not go. July and August are really, really hot months. June and September are not that cool either. <laughs> so if you want to make a trip to San Antonio, I would suggest you do it in October, November, March, April. May wouldn't be too bad. Um, we used to have to go in the summertime because I was a school teacher, and of course, Catherine was in school. I couldn't just take off whenever I felt like it. And a lot of the places, if you go during Christmas vacation or spring break or whatever, there's usually everybody else is there at the same time because a lot of them are on the same break you are. But it was still fun. We went to SeaWorld, went to the Alamo. They have a um, a cave there. It was, um, oh shoot. You know, I, I was thinking of the name of it before I started talking and now I can't remember. But it was so cool um, to go down in the cave. It gets cooler when you go down. It's quite a long walk down in that cave. Um, have any of you ever been to the caves? Can, do any of you remember the name of the cave in San Antonio? Boy, as many times as I've been there, it's it's not the Longhorn Tavern, ta uh, Longhorn Cavern. I think that's in Austin. We've been to several different caves, and I just can't remember it. They also had a place.
place where you could drive through like a safari. Do not get out of your cars in those places, people. Some people have done that, and they were attacked by animals. And they do tell you, please do not get out of your car. These are wild animals. And they, you can buy uh, like a little bag or bucket or food that you carry with you in the car. And let me tell you, you roll your window down, and those animals will come because they're used to people feeding them. And we had an ostrich come over. And my, my daughter had this, you know, the, you put your ponytails in and they had those big beads. She had a big white, you know, two big white beads. And that ostrich was trying to pull the bead off of her. He was grabbing at her hair. She's ducking down trying to get away. Yeah, you know, it's kind of weird when you got a big bird coming after you like that. Let me see. Oh, there's some more over here, but I'm not going to do that area yet. Let's see. Do I have any more three tens in this area? Let's see how that looks. So it was fun. We had zebras. Let me tell They'll try to knock that out of your hands, too. Look at it. Is it hmm. This might be okay. What are you guys thinking? It might be okay. This, of course, is all dark. That part of her face was kind of in a shadow. So when I get some more of that done, we can tell more. I'll still be working on this. I'll try to do some more whipping chats because, you know what, I'm enjoying doing these. I like telling you about some of these laws and sometimes true crime, sometimes crazy things that have happened in my life. You know, that kind of jazz. So, oh, yeah, there goes my, goes my camera because... It's shining too much. Stop it. Stop it now. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I hope you're having a lovely day, night, whatever it might be. Remember to love each other. Put a smile. Share a smile. You know, sometimes I forget to do that too. But sometimes if you smile at someone, you can get them to smile and also. But you guys, take care. I love you. And God bless talk to you again before you know it. Maybe before you want me to talk to you. Bye. Love ya.